Jennifer Devons to Maclow only qualified three months ago, but soon she'll stop work and start strike action, joining criminal barristers across England and Wales. Over the past five years, 25% of my criminal legal bar have left the profession. 300 left last year. So what will happen if the government don't take note of what we're saying is there will soon be no barristers left. Who will represent victims and defendants then? That is what is grinding the system to a halt. It's all about the fees paid for legal aid work. And barristers have been taking action for over a month, escalating now with a vote for all-out action. But the dispute goes back a decade. This chart shows how much barristers earn. The most experienced are on around £100,000, but those starting out earn under 13000 less than the minimum wage. The criminal justice system is already under strain with nearly 59,000 outstanding cases. And this backlog means, on average, there's a 15-month wait from the time of an offence to the completion of a trial. The Victims Commissioner says she's writing to the Justice Secretary and demanding an end to the dispute. That backlog is awful for victims now. People who've been traumatised by the loss of a child in a car crash or been raped or been stabbed, their lives are on hold, they're waiting for justice, they're waiting for a finish to the, the thing and a lot of those are going to drop out. But just prolonging it like this it is awful. And so there's just, they've just got to talk, it's got to be resolved. But time is running out for a resolution. The government says it's increased criminal barristers' fees by 15%. Barristers argue it's not enough. And between both sides, disagreement and dispute. And for victims and courtrooms, yet more delay and disruption. Laura Bundock, Sky News.